Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Molly is our model today. We are at the 2019 Adult National Figure Skating Championships in Salt Lake City. And Molly, you have quite a lot to do with the figure skating world. So what? tell me about that, please. I have gone um, back to skating after about an 18 year hiatus and I am absolutely loving the community and just the sport in general. So I've been back for three years and um, my profession is an industrial designer. So I love to combine that with my skating by designing uh, lapel pins and patches and stickers and all sorts of fun things for everybody who loves skating as well as the, the costume and the props and overall choreography. It's just fun to collaborate the two worlds together. It is. It's good when you can take something that's your profession that you're good at and combine that with something that you love. Yeah. Now, the, below this, there is a link to Molly's website in case you want to order anything. And yeah, so let's go ahead and start talking about her dress. Now, um, I took some pictures of this. If any of them turned out nice, I will send them to you. This, this particular dress has sequins instead of rhinestones on it. Now, Molly's not really this tall, and I'm not really this short. She's got her boots on still. <laughs> But one of the really great aspects about this dress is that it has very long lines that go, they're, they're literally that long. So for someone short like me, this is a perfect look because then it helps make me look taller. And it gives a really nice, long, lean look. This looks fabulous on the floor. The ombre fade looked great. So this is a combination of sequins and paillettes going to move the microphone so that we can hear it over the talking. It's got a combination of sequins and paillettes on it. Did you make this dress, Molly? No. Okay. And do you know who did? I don't remember. That's okay. No worries. Um, and then you, but not all of the areas have the paillettes, which is interesting. Go ahead and turn sideways if you would, please, ma'am. And got an invisible or a blind zipper on the side, which is nice. The great thing about invisible zippers is that, well, they're very difficult to see. I didn't even know it was there. I've oh, never used it. Oh, you you get so you get in you get in and out of it without even using the zipper. I've never used it. I didn't know it was there. <laughs> okay, so the dress is really stretchy. <laughs> yeah, you have you have Oh, no you don't. I take that back. This dress was let out. I thought it was a zipper. I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> really a zipper I take that back it looks like the dress was let out at some point in time or else whenever they dyed it it just didn't take at the seam so I thought it was an invisible zipper without my glasses it's not a zipper you may have one on the other side but that's not it false alarm <laughs> it's a live show folks all right so we have a slightly rounded scoop back what I like about the back half of this is that even there's one there's open skin up here and the mesh that there is is incorporated into part of the dress it actually holds the designs on the dress so it makes sense it's not a structural mesh it's a um, it is a little structural but it's well camouflaged go ahead and keep going and this um, we've got two layers of chiffon or georgette if you're overseas oh good I can put this back on now and have two hands yeah still no zipper <laughs> all right yeah, it is weird because it looks like, yeah, you can see right where the color did not take at the mm -hmm. seams. But anyway, we'll go right back to the skirt. We've got two layers of Georgette and the, oh, the sequins and the paillettes were all hand sewn on. You can't see this from the, when she's on the rink at all. And they are cut into sort of little jagged edges. It's almost like a handkerchief skirt in that sense, or maybe a flame skirt. If you were to make a a, the same skirt out of either lycra or mesh, you would not need to go in and roll edge the hem. But because this was made of chiffon, AKA Georgette, there is a rolled, a tiny little rolled edge hem on all these borders so the fabric doesn't unravel as she goes. Does this dress stay over your rear end well? Yes, it does. Good. It's a major concern of mine. Yes. So I like it and it stays up on the shoulders well too. It doesn't uh, doesn't ever slip off. I don't have to worry about any wardrobe malfunctions. Okay. What's your least favorite part of this dress? I really love it all. 
I, that's good. I wish I had more colors because I don't want to retire it. Um, I love the skirt. It's different. And I went out of my comfort zone with this. I was a traditional skirt person, but I like that it's cut and it fit my music and it fit my, um, really my need perfectly. Yes. So I'm just, I'm really overall happy with it. And the, the, um, the ombre is really a fun yeah. touch. And it, and it moved great on the floor. I love that it's got two layers because then the two layers, because the top layer is a little heavier than the under layer, the top layer moves at a different speed than the bottom layer, which does not have anything to weight it down. So they move really nicely. Good show. Good yeah, show. yeah. And I am a, I am a fan of non-traditional skirts, so I love this. All right, we are going to sign off then. Thanks so much for joining me, Molly. If you have enjoyed today's video, please tell all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address. I'll make sure you get the newsletter and are notified when my sewing school is open for enrollment. Leave a comment below. What's your favorite part about Molly's dress? While you're on here, go ahead and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube or Vimeo. And I think that is about it. We're going to sign off. Thanks so much for joining me. I will talk to you again another time. Do your skate dresses leave you feeling frumpy instead of fabulous? Do you need bust support and body smoothing that your costume just doesn't have? Are you tired of wearing costumes that feel like they were made for someone else instead of being designed and made for your body shape and size? Join me for a free four day skate dress design challenge, September 22nd through the 25th, 2021. Learn how to choose necklines that flatter your figure, both in your street clothes and in your skate dresses. Learn the difference in poor skirt attachment lines that make your tummy look rounder instead of nice and slim. Get tips for choosing colors that make you look youthful and vibrant. Learn to recognize how decorations can make a huge difference in the shape and style of a dress and learn to choose which elements flatter your figure using your very own custom sketch templates that we draw during my free four-day skate dress design challenge. Each day I offer live video training to walk you through all of this information so that you look and perform your best because you're most confident in your costumes. If by chance you're watching this video after the skate dress challenge mentioned here, please go to my website leave your name and email address so that you sign up to receive my newsletter. You'll of course get free dressmaker and design tips throughout the year and you'll also be notified when my next skate dress design challenge happens. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon.